Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Rudder Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I hope that this video finds you well. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Banana Republic. And this one is called Rosewood Amour, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my fragrance review of Rosewood Amour by Banana Republic, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guest interviews, and pretty much anything having to do with fragrances, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And of course, while you're at it, make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon and then actually clicking where it says enable all notifications for this channel. I would really really appreciate that and it would help out tremendously. So here we have a Banana Republic fragrance. This one is called Rosewood Amour. So I did a little bit of a research and I found out that the original Rosewood actually came out back in 2006. So here we have a flanker to the original which came out, can't believe it, 14 years ago. In full disclosure I have never sampled the original from 2006 but of course this is the Amour flanker. So this one is found in the red box here just as Banana Banana Republic. This one is marketed for women, so it says woman slash femme on it. But in my opinion, this one actually reminds me of another fragrance, which is unisex. And so whenever I do smell this fragrance, I'm actually inclined to consider it more of a unisex fragrance. And yes, it is actually a more inexpensive version of a super expensive niche fragrance. Of course, it's not 100%, but there was a little bit of an inspiration that was taken from this expensive niche fragrance. Before I proceed with this review, I do want to mention that if you are interested in picking up this fragrance for a good price, you may find it at soavantgarde.com. I'm going to leave all of their information down below to where you can check it out. So please go ahead, do your research, figure it out uh, in terms of looking at the note breakdown and trying to determine is this something that you think would resonate with you? Is this something that you personally see yourself wearing? And for the price at which it is available, is this something that you think you would consider picking up? I'm excited to tell you all about the smell. Let's start with the presentation. So the box for this fragrance is rather simple. You just have Rosewood Amour, the name of the fragrance written here in the front. It has a sort of floral print on it and the box is red with pink accents. And the bottom of your box has the serial number printed in black ink. And here is the bottle. It does come across rather feminine despite the fact that I do find the fragrance to be unisex. And you have this red band on the cap here. The cap does click into place securely. You can pick this one up from the cap. And the distribution on the atomizer is nice and wide. Let's continue with the smell. So as soon as this fragrance opens up, you are going to get a fragrance that is sweeter leaning. So I'm picking up on a little bit of vanilla. I'm picking up on Ambroxan, which is this fresh molecule, kind of gives it a little bit of a salty aquatic vibe. And I'm also picking up on this green undertone, something that I would equate to the smell of oak moss. However, there is something slightly floral going on in here, but not as floral as I have picked up from some other fragrances that have a very similar DNA to this one. And I would say it's jasmine leaning just because it does come across smelling rather clean on my skin. So just to address the elephant in the room, this one reminds me a lot of Maison Francis Kirk John's Baccarat Rouge 540. The moment I smelled that I said, Yep, that's BR540. And I feel like it's a combination of the green, the jasmine, and the vanilla that really puts me in that mindset. Now, of course, it goes without saying that there are probably over a hundred companies now that have their own version of Baccarat Rouge 540. Whether we're talking about Christian Siriano with Ula Rouge, or we're talking about Thomas Casmala with number four, Tiziana Terenzi with Spirito Fiorentino, Ariana Grande with Cloud, Parfum de Marley with Calan, the list goes on and on and on and on. Everybody is releasing a fragrance, not necessarily that smells identical or very similar to Baccarat Rouge, but it utilizes that combination of sweet and green. That's what I'm trying to say. And that is precisely what you're going to get in this fragrance. However, in the case of some other fragrances that have that BR540 DNA, with Ula Rouge, for example, I find that it goes very jasmine-y, right? So that jasmine note that you're going to find in there is quite strong. In the case of number four by Thomas Kazmala, I find that it becomes very musky. 
musky. In this fragrance, I find that it stays very true to the original. It doesn't try to go in any which direction. Rather, it kind of borrows a little bit of everything, but makes it its own in the sense that it's a little bit more compressed, if you will. It's not as billowy as the original MFK uh, BR540. I find that this one is a little bit more on the designer level in the sense that it's a little bit more polished and a little bit more compressed. And I think that's a good thing. I feel like with the original, it's worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. We all know this. So oftentimes we are looking for a more inexpensive alternative to some of our beloved niche fragrances. And I feel like if you are trying to get as close as possible to the original, you will satisfy that itch and that urge with this fragrance. So it opens up with this sort of cotton candy vanilla vibe. There's a touch of almond, which could be borrowed from the x version. It has that sort of clean jasmine quality in the mid. It doesn't have anything raunchy or barnyardy or animalic, as sometimes jasmine has a tendency of having on account of the fact that it also contains a compound known as indol. I don't really get that from this fragrance. And then it dries down to this sort of Ambroxan, Isoe Super, Amberwood Molecule, and Oak Moss thing. So it's green, it's floral, it's definitely sweet, it's gourmand leaning, but it also has this sort of date night and romantic appeal about it that, think, that I think makes it a great fragrance for that type of a romantic occasion. And despite the fact that it is marketed for women, I find this to be 100% unisex. I'm telling you right now, you will sincerely enjoy this one if you are a fan of Baccarat Rouge 540. If you were ever on the fence about purchasing BR540 and maybe the price tag was a little bit off-putting or intimidating, I have a feeling that you will find something that you will end up loving with this fragrance, especially if you are a lady watching this video, if you have familiarity with fragrances like Her by Burberry or Cloud by Ariana Grande or any number of other fragrances that go in that BR540 territory and you're a fan of that type of a smell, definitely make sure that you check out Rosewood Amour by Banana Republic. Let's finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I can't necessarily say that this is a unique fragrance for the simple fact that it does bear such a strong similarity to Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. And in my opinion, I think the x rayed version, but the overall smell is incredibly appealing, especially if you are a fan of the MFK fragrance, but you know that it's going for hundreds of dollars. You wanna pick up something that is a little bit more on the affordable side. I think you can definitely get away with enjoying this one quite a bit, especially given the similarity. In terms of longevity, expect about six hours on your skin. The projection is fantastic for the first two to two and a half hours. It doesn't become a skin scent until about that four and a half to five hour mark. But the performance on this one is really good, especially given the concentration. Again, it's not beast mode. It's not going to give you 11 or 12 hours or anything like that, but it will last a long time on your skin. In terms of the versatility, I think you can wear this one all year round. The notes and the overall smell, the fact that it's a little bit sweeter leaning makes me want to wear it in the colder weather. But the fact that it's not overly loud makes me want to wear it in the hotter weather as well. And especially if you're in a climate controlled environment, you can really wear this one all year round. So this is an all year round type of fragrance for me. In terms of occasions, I think this is more dressed up. However, given the price tag, you can wear this one casually as well. It's marketed for women, but it's 100% percent unisex and I think that this one can be pulled off by somebody who's young as well as somebody who's a little bit older as well. However, if you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s, you probably want to reach for something a little bit more serious. I'm not going to say sophisticated because there is something sophisticated about this, but you probably want to reach for something a little bit more serious. In terms of the presentation, it's a little bit hard to hold, but it's a really nice bottle. Kind of looks like a teardrop, reminds me of the Bulgari Aqua bottles. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you're looking for a fragrance that smells very similar to Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn and you don't want a subtle twist or variation of that DNA but rather something that brings it very close to the original, I would say definitely check this fragrance out. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was my fragrance review of Rosewood Amour by Banana Republic. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please do go ahead and let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos and remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. We'll see you next time.